inspiring all of us as you're here in the year. I'd especially like to thank the staff of Boating Industry Magazine for recognizing us, as well as spotlighting all the other deserving dealers in this Top 100 Award Program. We appreciate the time and effort these editors expend each year to review all of the many outstanding submissions and to create a healthy competition. Each year, the management team of Legendary Marine studies the successes of peers, such as yourselves. We read and study the white papers, best practices, and testimonials provided by boating industry. We attend the seminars at NBCE, and we strive with focus to become a better dealership. I'm grateful for the hard work of the team and their shared vision and commitment to continued improvement that has made the difference for Legendary Marine. Measured in multiple ways, from our bottom line profitability, to our customer satisfaction scores, and to our internal employee surveys. It takes a team to create a win. While I'm the one here accepting the award, the team deserves the credit. I had just turned 60 last year when we learned that our team would be awarded the 2012 Dealer of the Year. When I was younger, I'd always perceived the 60-year-olds were officially over the hill and the most belonged to the golf course or bingo parlors occupying their time. <laughs> I never imagined there would begin a period of my life when I could learn so much. From our very valued partners at GE, I've learned that while the economy is likely to be fairly stable for the next few years, that if we are to grow our business, that we must work harder and smarter to earn the right to our customers' discretionary dollars. They have taught me that if I will embrace education and training for our team, that the returns can be significant. I've learned from our manufacturing partner, Cobalt, that in order to grow our market share, that we must not only gain our customer satisfaction, but rather we must gain it to a level that they promote us to others. My experience with the Parker 20 Group has taught me that I should have sought involvement with the 20 Group many years ago. It is one of the best business decisions we've ever made and has had a profound impact on the success of Legendary Marine. My peers in the 20 Group have taught me, inspired me, and motivated me to see the business from new perspectives. And yes, to David and many other highly influential members of our group, you are right, it is possible to grow margin and volume at the same time. <laughs> 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 I've learned from our engine partner Yamaha that innovation is a key to success. Their example of 30 years of innovation beginning with their precision blend oiling system in 1983 to their extraordinary new lightweight and fuel efficient four stroke motors demonstrates the importance of innovation and leadership. Like Yamaha, we too must continually search for and develop new ways to be innovative and retain our existing customers as well as ways to engage with new ones. I've learned from our manufacturer partner Volvo that has just earned their 10th consecutive NMMA award for customer satisfaction that we must always strive to give our customers the right products with the right qualities. I've learned from Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest that I'm a dinosaur and that if I don't continue to surround myself with talented, bright people that I will quickly become extinct. <laughs> I've learned from my nine-year-old mother that stubbornness is an acquired trait and she's recently informed me that I'm rapidly following in her footsteps. <laughs> I've learned that despite all the questionable decisions that our government has made in the past year, that those infected with the water gene either don't watch or read the news, and if they do, thankfully they ignore it. Regardless, it, regardless, it is our job to make sure that we provide our valued customers with high quality, memorable experiences. I've learned from our managers that if I will occasionally be quiet in management meetings, that they will come up with truly great ideas and programs, and then they will gracefully allow those ideas to become mine. <laughs> <laughs> Lastly, I've learned from my wife Leslie that the true best practice is to put my faith in family first. And that all the accomplishments and tangible possessions acquired on earth are pretty meaningless. I don't have a firm grasp of where I'm going after. <laughs>